for a steering legislative and governmental committee meeting to order. Um, before we go to our first item of business, I would like to thank the committee for uh, allowing me to uh, humbly serve as your chairman for uh, this, this upcoming year. So thank you for that. First item of business, we need to uh, approve our minutes from our last meeting. Call on Vice Chairman Commissioner Gooch. Thank you, Mr. Chair. A motion, we have a second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion approved. Next, we need to fill a citizen at large vacancy on the insurance committee to fill the unexpired term of Donna Andrews. This uh, uh, vacancy uh, or this position is set to expire of August 2016. <clears throat> Commissioners, we have received one applicant for that position from Ricky Marlin. And I think you've received that. Is Ricky Marlin in the yes, audience? Sir. Thank you, Ricky. Um, as we do with all of our applicants, if you'd like to address the committee and share any thoughts. Well, thank you for your time, and I appreciate y'all serving Rutherford County, and that's exactly what I would like to do on this insurance committee is uh, serve Rutherford County. I'm a sixth-generation Rutherford Countyan, uh, married to wife, Misty, and uh, two, son, uh, two children, Luke and Annabelle. I work at uh, Rich Products Corporation, which... Uh, greatest company in Rutherford County <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, got some unique perspective you know obviously working in the private industry uh, we're a union plant so I know a little bit the give and take with the union and management um, you know doing contracts and stuff like that I'm, uh, as up to date as I think I can be on the Affordable Care Act uh, you know the looming mandates deadlines uh, stuff like that that's coming up so um, I respectfully ask that you approve my nomination, and uh, if you have any questions for me, I'd, I'd be happy to answer them. What position do you hold out there? I work in the uh, quality department. I'm a QA engineer team leader. Any other questions for Mr. Marlin? I appreciate you jumping in. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I'd like to make a motion that you be approved for the insurance. I'll second it. have a motion and a second. Mr. I was going to say the only disagreement I have with him is Walgreens is the greatest company. <laughs> 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 it's the only only disagreement. <laughs> we have there you go. Okay. <laughs> we'll have industry segmentation. Okay. All right. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Marlin. Mm -hmm. Next, we need to fill two vacancies on the Codes Enforcement Adjustments and Appeals Board. Uh, commissioners, as of this moment, we only have one application. Uh, Mr. Joe Machado. I did see Mr. Machado earlier. If you'd like to address the committee, please do so. I'm Joe Machado. Uh, lived in Rutherford County all my life. Uh, worked in the industry the biggest part of my life. Spent 27 years at Nissan. Worked under a lot of codes and rules out there. And uh, I've also served on the board for two terms now, and I appreciate it if you appointed me to another term. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to ask. I can vouch for Mr. Machado. I've known him for about 25 years. I can beat that <laughs> <laughs> easily. I can double that almost. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I, I move that we accept Mr. Machado and thank him for his excellent service. Second. A motion and a second. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 <coughs> approved. Thank you, Mr. Machado. Thanks, Thank sir. you. All right. Next, we need to announce a vacancy on the Board of Zoning Appeals of Mr. Machado. <laughs> and then also we need to announce a vacancy on the Beer Board uh, and alternate vacancy as well. Uh, audit Committee membership is next on the agenda. Snow. Yes. I'm sorry I did not get it on your iPad. Old school. Old school. What is this stuff? Oh, paper. <laughs> paper. <laughs> this is paper. Yeah. Before you get started, I, I, I want something that was in the last meeting was said, and I wanted to. Uh, uh, Did it say anything? Oh, yeah. Um. There was something that was asked about it that Mr. Nipper is, is him being on the school board is why it came up. Correct. The question whether yes. Now I talked to Mr. Nipper. Yes, and something was said that, that he had made a statement that he would come off is is something was brought up in the meeting of last month. <coughs> Mr. Nipper says that is incorrect. That 
he didn't make a statement like that. And he would love to continue to serve on this. And, um, you know, I, hold, I, I would hate to kick somebody off of something that they were not elected before and turn around and kick somebody off a committee and they're doing a good job on. I've not heard anything bad about him doing anything wrong or not doing his job on that committee. That's kind of my thoughts, and I want to let that know, be known up front that, and clear that up because he did not make that uh, assertion at that time. So I just want to let that be known uh, up front. I would, if, if it were up to me, that I would um, let him finish his term. I mean, because this, this is a change. I'm not the attorney. Huh? <laughs> okay, I have to say, but this is kind of a change, and it's a clarification. There was apparently the way that the wording was was open for interpretation. I read it one way, somebody read it another. Um, but I believe we're only one audit cycle left before, because it kind of terms out when the commissioners you know, when, when new commissioners come on, that's when the new cycle starts. I, I'd, I'd have to go back and just verify, but... I just want to know up front that, you know, I, I talked to him so I know what has been discussed in the last meeting. So, uh, Didn't we kind of well, say that he, he became a member of the committee before he was elected? School board member. Yeah. Right. So, but I, I think maybe it was me, but I think I think everyone pretty much agreed that maybe the spirit of the thing was that two county commissioners. That was it. Um, I have absolutely no objection, as you said the last time, and just said again, Mr. Nipper serving none whatsoever, and we, I think he served fine, and if we can work out a way where he can, where he can continue until this term is up. up that's certainly fine with me, and then we can. Then this is. Yes. I, you know. With me. I was heard. <laughs> but anyway, um, I proposed some different language and, and passed it in front of the county attorney, and he made some tweaks too. So you can see now in red what changes that we would propose. On it's in red. So I'll just read um, that the audit committee will consist of seven members to be comprised of two members of the county commission, one member of the board of education, one member of the road board, and three citizens of Rutherford County who are not elected county officials. One of the members must either be an active or inactive certified public accountant. To ensure the committee's independence and effectiveness, no audit committee member will be an elected county official with the exception of the two elected county commissioners, the elected member of the Board of Education, and the elected member of the Road Board. And that's, that's the only exceptions. Then cannot be a county employee, spouse of a county official employee, or a person that commingles assets with an official and or employee of Rutherford County. If we approve this now, our, our, at our September uh, 12th County Commission meeting effective that date that would go this would go into effect and that would be actually he would be in violation and I, I just don't think we need to I, this, I'm just speaking for myself okay. I just don't think we need to act you can pass the resolution and make the effective date any date you choose to make yeah well you can even Maybe. if we yeah. approve it now then I mean he's grandfathered in until the end right. of that Term. I think that's how you do it. Is the mayor? I think is yeah. right that you you approve the thing effective the date. Mm -hmm. And if I can uh, come back to you and tell you when that term for sure ends. You know, I just don't think they, when his term up, up, I mean, going on, I don't think we need to act and kick him off or it, it be approved during his term. I think if we're going to do it. It needs to be after his term. Turns up, then. 
That's what I was going to say. Can y'all go to the next agenda item and, and, and let me come back, circle yeah. back? Yeah. I won't have any that. I won't have any that. Sure. We'll table that okay. for a little bit. Yeah. Um, moving on. Announce election of chairman pro tem at September commission meeting. Mm -hmm. Announce election of chaplain at September commission meeting. Need to announce a confirmation of commission chairman at September commission meeting. And now we'll move on to election of the 2013-14 standing committees. Uh, commissioners, that was emailed out to you all as well. It's also on your iPads um, in really small font. Um, but as you can see, 20 commissioners got their first choice. 20 commissioners got their second choice. Um, so I think it's pretty good mix. Pretty close to last year, some, some change-ups. Um, but there you have it. Mr. Chairman. Um, I guess I want to offer something to throw something out here and offer it to Commissioner Gooch. Commissioner Gooch had actually, uh, he's on, he's been put on public works and he didn't request public works. Uh, he actually requested property management <coughs> um, and I had said something about I'd be willing to serve on three committees. I, I, if it was, if he's willing, I'm willing to offer um, that he can have property management and I'll take his place on, pu on public works. If that's something that he's, um, or am I, I, I'm fine with that if that's what you want. I, I mean, yeah. I'm fine with it. Okay. okay. So we'll move Commissioner Gooch to prop back to property management and move Commissioner Farley to public works. We'll put that in the motion of an amendment. Uh, I'll make that. Well, there's a Remember, there's well, a we got to make a motion first. I'll, I'll move that we approve the committee assignments with that change. Did you go to? Back with uh, changing that, so we have a motion. We have a motion to comp to approve the proposed committee assignments with the changes of Commissioner Farley, and Commissioner Gooch swapping places on those two committees. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any of the other discussion on the motion to approve the committee assignments? Well, one thing I always like to to point out is you got 20 commissioners with their first choice and 20 commissioners with their second choice, so. Uh, that is very, very, very good to uh, to do that, especially when you have to line up budget with a budget representative on every committee, and so we try to do that every time. And the past few years has been working pretty good. It's going so, well. Yeah. Any other discussion? Except for y'all's two things. <laughs> well, it would work fine. I just messed it up. <coughs> All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. All right. No one is still not back. I am back. Oh, you are back. I'm sorry. Thank you. Come on back. Perfect time. That was quick. Well, I need to go back to it, and, I, and I, my memory on this one was right. It ends with the commissioners. So um, that. So when the end next, of August. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everybody's deadline or term expires on the commissioners. Next year. We've got one more audit cycle. So, because okay. the commissioners will do a full four-year term, so when the commission changes, mm -hmm. the, the next election, right, right. then you will uh, nominate the next two commissioners who will run four years, and that I, is timed with two of the citizens. I, I can live with that because Mr. Nipper uh, has done nothing to cause this. He. You know, genuine. When he got up here and applied for this, we put him on there. He got elected to the school board, and I think he ought to be able to serve out until us just kicking him off. That's just my feelings about it. I think last month we did also talk. I think Commissioner Jordan mentioned the the spirit of what we were trying to do. Uh, I just want, don't want to overlook. Again, it's not. <laughs> We, we talked about Mr. Nipper last time a lot, and it's not about that, but it is about the positions that we intended to be on the audit committee. And so I want to make sure that we are being clear and consistent with what we want to accomplish with the audit committee. 
as far as transparency and, and everything with elected officials serving on there. I think since he applied before the election, his, his, he doesn't run the next time, next August, so he served two years and longer than that because we put him on, we, he didn't know whether he was going to be elected or not, obviously, or whether he'd even have opposition or not. I don't see, I, this is fine with me. Well, my issue with it, if you just take, because I think the world of David Heffer, if you take his name out of it, um, it was intended for two county commissioners, a, one road board and one uh, school board member. Now he was elected and we're changing the rules in the middle of the game. I just wonder how that looks to the public. It, that's my only concern is how does this look to the public that he, did David never do anything to be, I don't want to say the word kicked off, but removed? No, he didn't, other than running for the school board. But why can't, why can't he finish his term out, though? Because of this document that says that one school board member. But the, again, it, again it's, I, it, was, I, it was the way that the elected official was written, <clears throat> and it said members, it did it, open it was, it was up, plural. it could have been to. Oh, show me where it's. It says it one said, member of the Board of Education. The confusion that left it open, it did say members of the Board of Education. It was a plural. Well, is, 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 is what in black is the original document? Do you see where it's members of the, where, I li where that's lined out right here? Right. Well, On this part, that was the original language. With the exception of two, like I mentioned, the members of the elected. Let's see right here. Which is but what, okay, is what is underlined? Was that the original mm -hmm. document? Under what oh, I, oh I, yeah, I, that's, that's original. Yeah. Okay, well let me just let me just that's read that. That's the audit committee would consist of seven members to be comprised of two members of the county commission and one member of the board of education. One's not plural. But it says three citizens, but it doesn't. It never said. <laughs> that the three citizens couldn't be elected. I'm saying I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm, curious on how this is going argument. to the public. Uh, my I, I want to I want to clear, uh, clear up something. Down here where after elected county commissioners, comma, it, there's where the, the, the members, the plural, mm -hmm. members of the uh, Board of Education. And the rope board. And members of the so, rope board. So but you but, but members, me. I think because you said in the first part of the paragraph, one school board member and one road board member, and then down here you says members of the school board and road board, which members would be those two people. Hmm. And I think that when we said citizens at large meant citizens at large and not an elected official. I think that's what we meant, and I think that the public is going to look that we're changing the rules of the game in, in the middle. And again, this is nothing about David Never. I, I just think the world, I don't think it is, he's done a great job and is a great school board member, but I just, I'm just concerned on how, how it's going to play out. And <clears throat> I, don't see, how it looks. I, I don't see that it, we're changing in the midstream. He was, it, it was a document he applied under. He was approved under this document. This document it won't change until the effective date that it's approved by. And so we're not, I don't, I don't see a problem in it, respectfully. Yeah, I see. Okay, well, I'm going I think what we have is some proposed changes to this uh, resolution, and um, I guess we can <coughs> choose to act on it tonight, choose to table it for another month, or uh, we asked her to bring us back some changes, and she did. And um, we need to. Do we have a motion? Uh, let's see a motion. Well, I talked with Mr. Nipper also, and he really would go either way. He wants to be cooperative, so to speak, you know, so uh, he would like to stay on there, like Commissioner Crowley said, but, you know, if it's causing a turmoil, then he definitely don't want to do that. <coughs> and I don't, I don't and he, can, he can 
and he wasn't for sure about this, but the school board representative now, that could that change? We when we were talking, I said I don't know if that can change or not. You know, like one of them's one <coughs> year, this person, the other one's another school board representative. This is another person, whether it be female or male, and and then it could it could change or just one school board member. And he said, you know, he could even possibly be that person, you know. Uh, you know, could be appointed that person if if this one didn't want to do it anymore. So, I mean, I, I didn't know the qu answer to that question, but uh, I don't know. Do you know the answer? I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> but if we bring up, I mean, if we say we want three citizens at large, and we've already listed these elected officials, then I don't think a school board member or county commissioner would be a citizen at large. Because theoretically, then we could have all the county commissioners and all the school board to, to make up that seven. So, okay, well, these three county commissioners are citizens at large, and they're not citizens at large. I agree with that. I mean, I agree with that. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I don't think that, I, I think yeah. he ought to be able to finish his turn. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we had this dilemma on the redistricting, and it was a school board he got elected, and he was on it. And uh, he come off after he got elected. I was hoping that they would, Mr. Blair and Mr. Nipper would compromise since they served on the school board together. And I think that's what I asked at the last meeting. Um, I'm, I'm, I feel kind of like Trey does on uh, Commissioner Gooch. You know, David's a fine fella. I, I, I think he's done a good job over there, but. I'm, just a, just a little leery of that also, so that's where I stand. Do we have a motion? We ought to make another attempt at <laughs> table it again. wording. <laughs> said is right. If you read the original resolution, it says just what we think the intent says. These changes that have been made by the attorney just make it even Clearer. more abundantly crystal clear of what the intent was. Both documents, sort of from a legal viewpoint, say exactly what you want to say. You want three citizens at large and one road board and one school board member. So, <coughs> These red changes haven't really changed anything, but it just made it so clear next time, a year from now, 10 years from now, it'll be a lot more clear to the, the next body what the real intention was. So, uh, so really, we can we approve this and, and it and go into effect. effect. September 1, 2014. Yes. yes. I can live with it. But does it solve the problem we have right now with two school board members? But that's my point. What is the problem? No, what, no, the problem has been brought up by one person. Well, I don't know who brought it up. I'm just saying it's before me right now, and that's why I'm making uh, the call. Yeah. From what I understand, one person has said something about it, right? And that's one person on the opposite side. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but to me, if one person <laughs> questions, somebody else somebody questions else too. So question. I think you address it. Yeah. You got to address it. We can address it. Let's address it. Here we are. I, I, I myself, I, I can see Commissioner Good con concern. And it's a valid concern. Now, because we got two uh, people on the audit committee, we're gonna make, we're gonna fine tooth this thing so it'll read uh, precisely clear, so we can keep this person on there. But when we originally drew, drew it up and it was presented, it stated only one person from each committee. So if that's what it states, you know, I I like I don't want to stay board member. It could be my brother. <laughs> but if it states that, then that's what we should do for the public. Because you said the audit committee brought it up, one person on that audit committee. So if they brought it up, they were thinking something. They right? is plural. There's only one person on the audit committee. Yeah, but one, if one brought it up, 
then how many more were faking it? They all said something. <laughs> they probably did to that one person. <laughs> you be the spokesman. You're going to talk to them. Well, I learned that in private business. If one person's yeah. thinking it, if the you whole guarantee group. a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the interest of fairness, if we, could, if we could leave it as it is until next August, and then the, um, didn't the school board recommend Mr. Mr. Blair and then Mr. Nipper, as we said, was not a member of the school board right. at that time. So my point is that next August, Mr. Nipper will still be on the school board, and if Mr. Blair is reelected, he'll still be on the school board, and they will do as you want them to do, and that is, and they should, and that is elect one member to serve on the on the on this mm -hmm. committee. Well, why can't we send it back to the school board now, and let the school board tell me precisely? Which one they want? He's you know, not technically. He's not serving as a school board member right now. He's serving right. as a citizen at large okay. member. They've so. made their choice. But they now, said, yeah, since it's Brown. changed, it's two. <coughs> but why can't the school board make the decision? Well, three or four points have been made. But when you, you know, you decide you're running for an elected position, then, you know, in in all fairness, uh, he's no longer. A citizen. Once he gets elected, he is a citizen. But you know, what I'm saying he's an elected. You're, you're always a citizen. a citizen, but you're an elected person then on the school board. So, in in black and white, then you've got to come on. And so after talking with him, and you know, he's he's going to be okay either way. He would like to stay on that committee, but um, he's he's fine either way. I didn't get that from him. I mean, I was be honest. I didn't get that from him. <coughs> okay. Talking to him, they, he told me he wants to serve. It was about uh, yeah, he wants to serve, but I'm saying <laughs> he, want, no, he wants to continue <laughs> yeah. to serve until <coughs> the term is up. Well, let's table and bring him up here next month. Then he can tell us all what he wants to do. Well, I think ir irregardless, these changes, like the mayor said, and. Uh, I think Lisa said it is, or just to clarify what the intent of the original resolution was. So really the problem had, won't change here regardless of what we do with this. It'll just clarify it for future reference. So we could go ahead and pass this, effective whatever date you want to, um, but it's not going to change the issue we have with uh, Mr. Nipper serving as an elected official in a citizen at large position. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we approve this document and put September the 1st, 2014 is the effective date. We have a motion, do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on the motion? Roll call vote. Okay. Well, I, I support the, the changes, and I would just, if someone brought it up, then whoever enforces, I suppose it's the mayor, enforces the assignments or for the whoever's on it is eligible can just enforce it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever that might be. <laughs> Whichever mayor it might be. But, yeah, I mean, that's what was written in red because it's, it, I think, clarifies. Yeah, I think what if you're giving the enforcement authority, I'll have to say Mr. Nipper will have to be excused. Well, he's in charge of enforcing. Yeah. But if the, the, well, the September first, the committee and the full commission is really in charge. But of the, the September first, two thousand fourteen, he ain't gonna have to enforce it. But I, well, that's what I was saying. Even if we pass this, it doesn't it doesn't resolve the problem that we still right. have. Because this is just clarifying it for mm -hmm. future reference. We have a motion and a second on the changes from the resolution. We have any discussion on that motion? So, so we're not deciding on which one stays no. on. Yes, the change is about this. Any other discussion? Guess we want to roll call. Uh, uh, that's fine. Go ahead. Ms. Becky, please call the roll. Commissioner Black? Yes. Commissioner Farley? Yes. Commissioner Gooch? Yes. Commissioner Jordan? Yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Commissioner Sandlin? Aye. Commissioner Coggin? Yes. <coughs> Motion passes. <coughs> All well, right. Thanks when you discuss. I'm that's sorry. That's the other issue. Tonight. I don't, you know, <laughs> with. Uh, Let me say this. There's only going to be one more meeting. 
and there have been absolutely nothing of any real significance to even be discussed at these meetings. We have a absolutely 100% clean audit. So I'm not overly concerned about one more meeting. So let's I just put it in that perspective and you can go on, I think. When is that meeting? The middle of next year? After, well, it's, it's after it'll next. Be, um, it'll be our March, April of next, next year. Yeah. When we finish the audit. Because we've already had the pre-meeting, so it'll be after the audit cycle 2013. We're in the middle of the audit right now, and it will be sometime probably January, because we usually get oh, okay. our audit in December. Okay. So. And, and, and I wish I had a thought about that, Mayor, and you it was just one meeting. We're going. It'll be one meeting to discuss. Surely there will be findings, but of course there will be. A <laughs> we'll have that meeting, and then yeah. we will have. Yeah, we'll have one more meeting. That's it. Unless something. They ain't, yeah, they ain't paid on it, are they? they? Ain't getting no pay. Yes, they are. Getting oh, they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. They only are required to meet twice a year. We have a minimum two meeting requirement. One is at the beginning of the audit cycle to ensure the independence of the auditors and some, you know, technical stuff, and then after the audit's complete. Okay. Okay. All right, commissioners, our next uh, steering committee meeting is scheduled for October 7th. Um, typically in years past that that is the week of fall break typically we try and reschedule that for uh, honestly just for convenience state so the October 1st 2nd and 3rd are all three available um, if there's not a pref preference uh, I'll throw out uh, October 1st that's Tuesday same time 530 if uh, I'll Okay, up. Anybody have an issue with that? No, and that will be our next steering meeting. All right. Uh, before we move into our, our last agenda item, uh, one other um, appointment that we do we have to approve is an appointment of Judicial Commissioner of Christina Lamparter. And uh, this just needs our, our approval. Much to approve. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Next, we need to discuss county primary is on our agenda, and I'll call on Commissioner Jeff Jordan for that discussion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate that very much. Um, I, I wanted uh, this committee uh, to at least have an opportunity uh, tonight to discuss the possible Rutherford County primary at whatever length you'd like to discuss it. Um, I'm very much opposed to it on many levels. I'm going to name three of them. Um, first, uh, these are not in any, necessarily in any particular order, but <clears throat> if this uh, if this takes place, which is supposed to happen, I believe uh, next next uh, well late winter, uh, early spring with an election, I believe in in May that'd be the primary. Um, and right now, this is a um, just bring you up to date. I have no idea what the Democratic Party is going to do on this. I'm not a member of their executive committee. I haven't been to a meeting in a year, so I have no idea what they're going to do. But this has been well publicized that the Republican Party is very much for this, and they're certainly entitled to their opinion. I, however, am against it. And uh, one reason is that it's going to add about 80 days if you start immediately, and a smart candidate would, to the campaign of anybody that was running. Uh, it, uh, this would have to take place sometime in early February and would run up to election day and then you'd get to whatever time you want to take off and a smart candidate would take very little and then start back up again with a long campaign next summer. Um, the expense of a campaign you can spend in a county commission and I've, I've run two of them recently at least uh, can be pretty much as most of you know, we have many candidates and former candidates and elected officials in the room. You can spend about whatever you want to spend. Uh, there's, there's no limit. And it's all public record. Mine is and everyone, everyone up here on this table, it's all public record. 
but generally four to five, six thousand dollars is not unusual. It can be more uh, in the summer, a, a summer of campaigning um, and 103 degree days, as I'm sure you remember. Um, this would add 80 more days, more considerably more if you're running in a primary of uh, newspaper advertising, radio advertising, uh, the additional signs, which you probably would need a few, and considerable mailing. And uh, that is, as you know, extremely expensive. The second thing, and keeping on the subject of money, I talked to Nicole Lester about this, uh, <coughs> I forget what day, but it was approximately about a week ago, and, uh, and I asked her what, what is the cost, what will be the cost of the Rutherford County taxpayers for a Rutherford County primary? regardless of who ran in it. She's, she's uh, the master of her craft, as you know, and she had it down almost to the dollar figure. She said $107,000, perhaps as much as 108000 Now, we just had one of those a few years ago, but the state paid for it because it occurred on the same day as the Rutherford County or the presidential primary, the state primary. So we didn't have any costs. This time we're going to pay for it, all of us. Uh, I think that's basically unnecessary, but at any rate, uh, that's my opinion. Third reason, and this bothers me considerably, I like the three D's in, in, in government, and we have little enough of them as, uh, right now as we've ever had. And all you've got to do is look at Washington, D.C. to see what happens when one group of people decides that they're going to stop another group of people from doing something. Nobody gets any credit, and they spend most of their time making sure the other party gets the blame. And that has happened in Washington, D.C., and it is obvious. I don't think that is subject for debate. Um, but the, I mentioned the three Ds. I, I like debate and discussion <coughs> and diversity. And I think the county commission is a great place for those things. Um, and you do not get that when one party is in charge or one profession is in charge with a large majority in the room. Uh, and that are the, the three things that I'm stating now. I have more. I can see the interest in the committee that you'd certainly like to hear more, but that will do for now. <laughs> um, it is not my intention tonight uh, to make any kind of motion. Uh, I would, I'm still considering if I'm going to do this uh, under new business next Thursday night, a week from tomorrow night at the County Commission, uh, and ask formally, I'm going to ask the Commission to ask that this vote be rescinded. Whether it will be or not, I think they've had two opportunities to, to do this. Um, and I, I, I have no idea. But we can certainly take a stand and recommend that they not do it. Uh, and they can ignore us, uh, or, or they can agree with us and do it. But not, it's not my intention to make a motion in front of this committee tonight. Um, I think it's pure politics, and I'm a little uncomfortable asking my fellow commissioners to take a stand tonight for or against uh, this primary. And Mr. Chairman, I'm through. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Commissioner Jordan. Any discussion? Any other business? <coughs> Covered everything. Mm -hmm. Seeing none, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. 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 <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. aye. We are adjourned. Aye.